Hi everyone, it's Nicole again. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Hopefully this is a good angle. Jimmy got a new TV stand, which I'm going to record a video after, after this. Um, to show you, I tried to, I started a Saturday Super Chat on my iPad, but I'll show you. It just it didn't, didn't work. So I'm on my phone and it's, um, a different kind of angle so I don't know if it's gonna be good or not so anyway um welcome to Saturday sip and chat I'm drinking out of my purple Yeti Rambler and I'm drinking um, water with pineapple passion fruit mix I don't know if I showed you um, this, my nails. I got my nails done last week and they're a different color. I love it, you know. Um, I'm enjoying the pattern, but I think next time I might get a cut down. I don't know because it's very long. <laughs> All right. Um, before we talk about what we're going to talk about, I'm going to put, um, going to show you. This is my uh, Judy and Burke lap backpack. So if you remember, I spilled glue in this. So we're going to stay. Um, I, I threw out the Ruby and Cash pouch. And you can kind of see it on the bottom, but because I think I'm going to, um, tomorrow I'm going to bring this home. I think I'm going to switch into this for next week. I just, I need to switch because I've been in this for a long time. Um, I'm used to switching bags and I've been in this for a few weeks. It does work for me. I miss my doonies when I, I when I don't wear a doonie and work for a couple weeks or a few weeks. I, I kind of get a little itch, you know what I'm saying? So let's see if I can show you. You can't kind of you used to be able to pull it out, but you can't pull it out. So this is the residual glue. It's not much. Um, I'm going to just try to use this. Um, I don't think I'm going to switch out my wallet this time. So I think I want to keep switching. <laughs> I think I do. I want to keep switching. Um, I do like this. I, I really, really do. Um, just... My only qualm is these the straps. So I think I'm ready to switch back in her for the time for at least this week. I don't know. So yeah. Um so we'll see. Uh I have to to clean her too because she's a little dirty. And this is what I'm currently in. I do, I really like this backpack. It really with, it really works for me. Um, I probably will be in it again before summer's over. Um, I just need a little break from her. So I'm going to carry her until uh, tomorrow. I'm going to switch out. So maybe we'll switch out. Uh, we'll do a switching of the bags tomorrow. And because I've been in her since, I would say a couple weeks now. And I did get the matching wallet and I really do like this matching wallet. So I think even when I'm, uh, when I switch into um, that bag, I'm still going to use this wallet, this is in the color chalk. I do like this wallet, I think a lot better than the other one. 
Um, this is my favorite wallet, I think, from Coach. Yeah, so not my only wallet from Coach, but it's my favorite wallet from Coach. Um, I forget what it's called, but, you know, you just have... Love it. I, I like it a lot, so that's what I'm in. I mean, I... I really do. I do like this a lot, though. They, it does work for me. It does work for me. So I think um, I am going to switch out of this. But I'll be I'll be back in her. No worry. I'll be back in this beautiful coach. I just I need a change, and um, I'm going to try that one out again. I think, I think. So there's that. <laughs> um, I have been enjoying her. I, I've been enjoying her a lot. So, um, but it's time to switch. I miss my duties. Um, so I don't know if anybody on here has ever pre-ordered back from Dooney.com. Now, I love Dooney, but Dooney.com. Um, one thing I have to praise about I Love Dooney is that they ship very quickly. Um, and, I, and I'm... Dooney Burke, if it's not a pre-order uh, pre back, I think it's a decent amount of time. I've never pre-ordered a bag from Dewey and Burke, so it's a little, um, I'm very impatient. <laughs> okay, I am very, very impatient when it comes to that. Um, when it comes to handbags and stuff. And I, I, I don't think I'll ever pre-order a bag again. <laughs> not from Dewey, not from anywhere, because I'm very impatient. I'm still waiting on my Art Deco satchel. So if anybody else, Mo, is your still saying processing? Because mine still says processing. And I ordered June 7th. We are over a month later. Okay, we are, are, we are on July 20th. So... I emailed Dooney and Burke, but I didn't get any responses unless it's in spam. Um, I looked this morning and it still says processing. So how long does a pre-order take to process and ship? Um, I, I just, I don't know. Um, I'm just very impatient, so we'll see. I want that bag. Because you know I'm going to switch it to her when I get it. Um, when I get her. So that's my, my plan. So uh, I'm over it. I'm over it, you guys. I am over it. Over, over, over it. Ugh. I don't think I'll ever do that, but I am on a bag ban. I am putting myself on bag ban island. I've not just bag ban island. I, I ordered a few things from Amazon, stuff that I needed and stuff from Walmart or whatever, but that's, you know, um, I got three things from Amazon. One was my niece's birthday gift. Um, and then I got a MagSafe iWalk charger, which I have to uh, charge. And then I got this gold Apple Watch. 
um, band, but, but that's it. I think I am done with the Apple Watch bands. I am happy with the collection I have. I, I'm happy. I'm happy with my AirPod cases. I'm happy with my cell phone cases. I'm happy with my, uh, Apple Watch bands. I'm ha happy. So I'm good. Like I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Um, and I was going to get rid of some phone cases and I think I'm going to get rid of like one or two more. Um, and then I'm, I'm, I'm good. Um, I, what's going to say? Yeah, so I'm good. I'm so good. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to get rid of one more and then that's it. But I might just keep that one. I think I'm just going to keep all my, and I'm just not going to buy anymore. So at least with that, I know I'm done. Um, not that I'm taking a break from Amazon. <laughs> But I think I'm good with the stuff that I have that I could, you know, when I order Amazon, it could be something that I need. Not something that I, I want that I don't have to have. You know, it's just, it is what it is, you know. Um, oh, okay. So, and I... I don't really want to say this, but I'm going to say this anyway. I think that after my final bag that I'm going to get on my birthday, my birthday bag, whether Jimmy buys it or I buy it, um, I'm looking at my bag collection and I'm happy and like I, I'm good. Like I, I think I'm good. My mom's giving me back the, the aqua nylon satchel. She doesn't want it. So I'm getting that one back. I think I'm good. I want one more bag. I think I want the Buckley, whether it's Florentine or Pebble Leather. I really think that that, I want to be my final final bag. I don't know what color yet. I don't know. But I I want it to be my last bag, I think. And I do want to get a an accessory from the Plumes collection. So hopefully they'll have it at the outlet because I am banning myself from I Love Dooney and I'm banning myself from Dooney and Burke and I'm banning myself from eBay and Amazon as far as Dooney and Burke. So I am banning myself. So. I'm good guys. I'm good. I think my collection will be complete. At least for now. Um, you know, and then I think I, I, I was talking to a friend of mine and uh, she said, Nicole, why don't you just keep the bags that you have now and give them one more chance. So those bags that I said that I was going, that I was definitely, I'm just over, I'm over it. Um, I'm going to keep for now. Um, and the reason being, I just want to give it one more chance. And then if I just, I can't, and I think at that moment, I if, if I really decide after I carry these bags again, and I'm like, I can't do it, I'm just going to. Put them right on eBay or make a video and say, this is on sale because I, I can't. Because um, now the bags that I was like going to give away that I was certain going to give away for months now, I, I, I don't have the heart to get rid of them right now. Um, there's going to be a time 
where I am done. And, and that's, that's going to be that. Um, but I really think I am happy and my collection is going to be complete. So that's, you know, I know I said I was going to get rid of, uh, those two bags. Um, you know, and then my friend convinced me just give them one more chance. So I'm going to give my bags another chance. And once at least those bags that I was thinking about, because I really want to be done buying bags. I'm going to be honest. I, um, I'm over buying the bags. I am. Um, because with those, like with those, the Greta bags, I was, I was looking, I just kept looking for another, uh, bag to replace it. And I'm like, well, I'm just going to spend more money. So I just decided I'm going to keep them for now. And then if they're just too much, you know, I can use them to hold my, uh, <laughs> hold my, um, church stuff. So I'm good. <clears throat> um, I think the next thing I'm going to do is look for more shelving or like something. Um, so I might be bringing more, uh, bags here. Um, for now, I haven't decided which ones yet, so. but, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, that's on the bag situation. So I hope you guys don't judge me for, um, re, uh, recounting my decision to, um, sell those bags. So, um, there will be a bag sale at some point. I think if I just, if a bag doesn't work for me anymore, then I'll just going to put it right on sale on eBay. That's what I'm going to do. Anyway, um, <clears throat> excuse me. So I have a lot of catching up to do. This is a confession. I have a lot of catching up to do as far as um, videos go. I am going down the line of the videos that I missed. <laughs> um, I did start this morning. Um, so I think for the next, so I'll probably like, uh, today, if we have time tomorrow, Monday and Tuesday, um, I'll be catching up, uh, because Monday and Tuesday I spent time with my sister, uh, from Colorado and, uh, we went to my sister's house, other sister's house <laughs> to watch the kids Wednesday, Thursday. And then Friday, I kind of spent um, catching up on things that I, I, from on demand, like MTV on demand and um, my Amazon Prime uh, stuff that I needed to watch. Because they have Amazon Prime here, but they have their own Amazon account, so I can't really watch my stuff. Um, so, yeah. So I have a lot of catching up to do. I have to apologize for that. I'm going to get to your videos. I'm going to comment and in, enjoy them. And it's not like I, I haven't not. Um, I just. Yeah, sorry, guys. I'm really sorry. I, I, I It's taking me a long time to watch your videos, uh, but uh, I had to be there for my sister uh, this week. Um, she's going through a big breakup. 
of six years. And uh, so she's moving back to New York from Colorado. Um, and I just feel bad for her. Breakups are hard. But this man has brainwashed her, manipulated her, um, acted like a false prophet. He's supposedly this on a spiritual path. And his actions aren't very spiritual uh, or not of faith. I mean, I know we're not perfect or whatever, but, um, you know, I know as Christians, you know, we try to do our best and I don't do my best sometimes. I, I admit that but I, I repent. Um, and, uh, you know, we're not perfect. You know, the difference between like, say me and him is I repent my sins and I, I know I'm not perfect. This man thought he was perfect. Like he thought he, he thinks of himself as a Messiah. Like, like he thinks like he's Jesus. I'm telling you, he preys on women who have issues and that are lost because he's lost himself. And I could say all these hateful things. And this week I've had, I have not been very Christian, like with my words towards this man, only because I'm being protective of my sister. I'm a very, I have a very protective nature about me um and this yeah yeah she's better off um so i've had my time of just being nasty and just not saying very nice things about this pet but now it's like i gotta pray for him i gotta pray for her so she's actually getting ready to go on a plane um about half hour to go back to Colorado, pack all of her stuff and come home. And she's going to be staying with my dad until she gets on her feet. And um, my message to that is she's been kind of feeling off for the past few months since her dog died. And since her dog died, she uh, has come to be more Christian-like and, and to God. And you know, prayed, you know, when she was never used to be like that. And I'm grateful she is now. Um, so she has uh, been listening and, you know, she's, she's got to follow the path now. Um, and the thing about with God is that when he shows you something when he guides you you have to listen and you may not like what he's telling you to do or showing you what to do you gotta go with it um like what would happen to me in one second my whole life changed. And this whole situation with me falling and getting hurt has really opened my perspective on, on things as well. You know, things that I didn't really want to admit with myself. Like, you know, I, I, I loved... I love infants and toddlers. That's where I was happy. But physically, I couldn't do it anymore. I couldn't do it. And I was ignoring those signs that, yeah, this is not for me anymore. Not because I don't love it but because I can't physically do it anymore. I mean, I was icing my knee two, three times a night 
sometimes two, three times in the morning, maybe like twice in, well, once in the morning. Um, and then once in like the middle of the day. So during my break, I was trying to eat my lunch and ice my knee at the same time. Like that's not okay. Um, so you just kind of, well, my thing is saying is I ignore the signs <laughs> and look what happened. And he said, nope, because what God has planned for you, and I don't mean to talk about God, but I, I really, I need to say this, you know, once God shows you something, you got to listen because what he has planned for you, it's going to happen anyway. Um, I mean, yeah, you got to help yourself and, and stuff, but, uh, sometimes it gives you a little push, like me, a little push. I, I fell because as I was turning around, that's where the broom came a little. Anyway, um, that's, I'm going to say that and nobody can deny God's blessing. Nobody can deny God's protection over you. Um, you could agree with me or not. I'm a woman, woman of God. Because no matter what happens, I know God is in control. Clearly, he was in control of that situation when I fell. And, um, yeah, so... Just remember, no matter what happens in your life, God is in control and he has a plan. He has a plan before, before even we were born. He has a plan for everybody's life. And you can't deny that. And you can't, can't speak negative or about a God's blessing, protection, you know, of yourself. So, because I, I am honestly so sick and tired of like the negativity that's out in the world. I can't stand it. Like, I don't care what side you're on, what your views are, like we're all going to, disagree on things but we all just need to be basic good human beings like we need to be just good people like this world lacks empathy and compassion towards each other especially if you disagree I'm so tired of it i just ugh, can't do it anymore um i can't deal with it so i kind of tried to I used to watch reels all the time. I don't really do that that much anymore. Um, Cause it's always political or negative about one side or the other. And you know, my take is this, I don't care who the heck is in office because I know God is in control and God is going to use whoever's in the white house to how he sees fit. And that's the end of that. You all can have your opinions. I don't care. I don't care. I have my opinions. And I keep my opinions uh, to myself. Because I need to keep something to myself. And it's just... I'm tired of hearing about it. So I went... to they had x-ray I don't know if I told you this but I I went to this one imaging place I want to say for many years and uh, all of a sudden like July 1st or 2nd they don't take my insurance anymore 
I'm like, are you kidding me? Because I called like a week or two later. I'm like, oh yeah, we haven't taken my insurance. You, you don't take your insurance anymore. I'm kidding. Nobody told me. So anyway, I found this new place. Okay. So I want Tuesday to get an x-ray of my shoulder because I have a hard time lifting it up. Like this is as high as I can lift this up right now. It is so tight from here all the way down here. It's tight, tight up here. And then like the upper, my back, it's just, it's swollen. So I thought I had arthritis because the only thing that kind of worked for the pain, like was like time, not time well, um, Aleve, the arthritis gel or the uh, Asper cream arthritis gel that would work for me. Um, but my x-rays came back normal. I don't know. So I can't, I, I don't have a, uh, my checkup is August 30th, which is like trying to get even a, a checkup or to see a, a, your regular doctor nowadays, like you have to book months in advance. So I think now, I don't know why that is, but so if like you're sick, if your throat hurts and stuff, just go to an urgent, that's what I'm, I'm just gonna go to an urgent care. Just go to like a walk in and say, okay, all right. Are you kidding me? Kidding a bit. Anyway. <laughs> um. Yeah, this video is long enough. I'm going to do a video tomorrow as well. So I might be doing a switching of the bags if I really decide to switch. Um, and also... I want to do... Because... It's drawstring, uh, July. And one of the content creators, Ola May, she created this tag of your, your drawstring connect collection, uh, for drawstring July. And I've been enjoying, um, seeing everybody's drawstrings. And I'm like, I have one drawstring, so I'm going to do my, my one drawstring. Um, but anyway, um, so I'm going to do a couple videos tomorrow and, um, catch you guys up because I miss you guys. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please no negative comments about my speech about God and cause that's how I feel. I mean, I, I respect if you don't feel that way. So please respect that I feel that way. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.